once we survived the buffet at breakfast, it was time to disembark the ship and head to our day two stop, the island of Patmos. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat around. our drive, it was time to visit the spot we were most excited about. Kind of the whole point of this tour. The Cave of the Apocalypse. This grotto signifies the spot where it's believed John had his visions and ultimately recorded the Book of Revelation. We visited Patmos on a Sunday and arrived just as Mass was finishing. And since it is preserved as holy ground, you aren't allowed to take any pictures or videos while inside. Everybody, it's Joni and Jenny, and we are in Patmos. Next stop was a monastery. We've seen quite a few of these during our travels, so we walked to the top and took in the sweeping views, but opted not to go inside. So we headed back down the mountain to find something delicious to eat, and boy oh boy did we find it. chance to check out the monastery and explore the area, we got back on the bus and were taken to the village of Scala. We did some shopping, we ate some beyond delicious Greek food for lunch, and then we took the tether boat back to the ship. First one is three bit. We saw some lady get it at the little minute market, so we got it. And it has some Greek things in it. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> we think that it's chocolate, cookie, and marshmallow. Like a s'more. That's what we think it is. But we're gonna see. Let me break it down here. Oh, that was okay. Oh no, that was good. Oh, you broke it. Just that. Okay. So give a little it does have a cookie. A little look chocolate it. and then there's something else in there. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very chocolatey. Mmm. Oh you got the the top part. I got the bottom part of that one. What does it taste like? It's very sweet, but good. I have no clue that it almost tastes like white chocolate. To me, I think of frosting. So, if you're Greek, or maybe I can just Google it, you know, 
let us know if you've eaten this candy bar or what it is. I would give that a an eight. I was gonna say seven. So next up we have a derby bar. Cause we're from Kentucky. So the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> uh, this also has some Greek things in it. <laughs> it has Rice Krispies in it. Yes, and chocolate and some, some other things, maybe. I bet it's a nougat. So you just break off a piece and I'll break off. I piece. think it's gonna be nougaty. I like nougat. Maybe like a baby root sort of situation. Did you just make a face? No. I didn't. Cheers. Is it coconut? Mmm. Mm -hmm. There's coconut in there. Good. I'll like this one better. I wonder why it's called Derby. Why is it called Derby? <laughs> I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Yeah. I like the textures. Yeah, I like this little crispy, crispy bits. things. So, there we go. That was good. That was good. You need salty now? You want to try chips while we're on camera? these are exclusively Greek but <laughs> exclusively Greek sea salt and balsamic vinegar what does it say at the of Modena it huh it says hand cooked oh it's right here absolutely nothing artificial my battery's flashing so we better eat one. okay oh goodness Pretty big old honkers Okay, ready? Cheers. It does taste like salt and vinegar, but less. Less twangy. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Nine out of 10. Oh, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Woo woo! All right, that's our first edition of Trying Greek Snacks with Joni and Jenny B. Oh, bye! Bye! <laughs>